Hey guys, Shucky here bringing you guys another Pokemon video, and this is me using my new generations team. Still working on it. Uh, I got until tomorrow morning to actually have my team completed, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. Um, and get, well, I'll have to do that. It doesn't matter if I'm ready or not. Uh, it's going to have to be done. So uh, so we can start this generation teams and actually this is against Michael. Who's Michael? I have no idea. He's a random passerby. I just challenged him to a battle. He accepted. He brought a team of threats. Uh, look at that team. It is so, so strong there. He is bringing some scary, scary Pokemon. Um, I thought he almost had a generation team, but then I realized the Scizor and the Ampharos Gen 2 and the Salamence and the Mushroom are actually Gen 3. I thought Salamence was Gen 4, but I looked it up and it is actually Gen 3. So, um, who knew? So that, that's why he's getting the Mega, which makes sense, uh, which makes me just seem dumber because I should have thought of that, but I didn't. Um... But my team is almost in order. The Gliscor and the Jirachi have to switch for it to be in order. And that's only because it was in order in my list. And I just started from the bottom, worked my way up. I figured that he was going to start with the um, the Ampharos. Or he was going to actually start with the Shroomish guy. I can't remember his name for some reason. So I was going to actually just start off with my poison. And try to get up the Toxic Spikes and then Dragon Tail people. But he's actually going to lead with the Salamence. So we'll start the battle and as you can see my team is completely different than what it was before it has a lot more coverage um i was playing some games with my cousin nick who's also in the tournament and uh i figured out i could not beat fairies with that last team and uh that became a huge issue so he's going to start off with the dragon claw i know i can survive one hit from this thing uh, i'm going to get the dragon tail to get him out of there i i already know this thing's going to be dead uh, i don't really need it in this matchup uh, it's it's just not the best thing here I could have just switched out and actually gone into my Jirachi to be able to take anything that he did but he actually went with the U-turn and as soon as he did I thought maybe I could survive but no it's going to do enough to actually kill me I'm not sure what the damage is on that because I'm sure he's not invested because of the moves that he uses later on um, with the stab it's it's only uh, 60 power, so I, I don't know if it would have uh, did too, too much. Actually, not 60 power. Is it 90 power? Uh, I can't remember. So he's actually going to go out with Zeus. Um, I just went out with... I figured this was his Mega, by the way. So uh, I actually went with the Gliscor. I know he can't really do anything. I'm with the Ice Fang because the Ice Fang is good against pretty much his whole team. Um, and it's going to do a ton of damage. Of course, I get the crit and I get the freeze. So he's actually going to be frozen. Toxic Orb's going to go off. I'm going to be able to heal up no matter what he does. But he's actually going to thaw and he's going to go for the Mock Punch. Uh, I was kind of surprised by a Mock Punch here. Since he went out with that, I thought he might go with the Bullet Seed or something like that. But he doesn't. So Atlas is actually going to go down to another Ice Fang there. No reason not to go with the Ice Fang. If he tried switching into the Salamance or something, I would have had plenty of coverage for that. Uh, I do want to keep this thing for the Salamance. Uh, I know he's going to go with the Ice Beam here. So I do not want to keep Glitter score in uh i'm just gonna put out jirachi i know jirachi can take any hit from this this is of course the um the choice scarf jirachi here so uh yeah he's gonna be able to eat that up very very well here i thought he was gonna switch knowing that was choice scarf uh, i was gonna go for the fire punch because i do run the fire punch but iron head seemed like a better idea it was super effective was gonna kill it anyways and it would have been better if he tried switching into the salamance um, but worse if he switched into the scissor and luckily he didn't he actually took it and then he goes into the scissor Maybe knowing I was stuck in that so uh, I got the perfect counter for scissor I got the conch elder. I know this thing could eat up whatever he wants to do. He actually goes with the night slash I know I'm gonna be fine there. It's not going to do anything. So I, I figure he's gonna withdraw I'm perfectly fine with that no matter what he goes out to he doesn't really want to fight this thing So uh, I just went with the knockoff. I was gonna go with the ice punch and decided not to go with the ice punch um so i'm going to knock off his item he's actually going to go with the dragon claw i figured i could survive a dragon claw pretty well and i do so i go with the ice punch uh i could have went with the drain punch though he does resist it it probably wouldn't have killed so uh i just wanted to go with the safe choice 
I wasn't sure if he was going to switch because I figured he could switch into this and take any hit that I was going to do. I'm just going to go with the Mach Punch because I know his Psychic is going to kill me. I just want to get some damage on this so Jirachi can potentially kill it in one hit if I need to. And he actually does go with the Psychic. I am going to go down there. I could have switched into the Jirachi here to actually times 4 resist that. But uh, I want to keep my Jirachi at mu as much life as I can. So I'm just going to go with the Fire Punch here. Um... Fire Punch is an okay choice. I should have went with the Iron Head in hindsight. There's no reason not to go with the Iron Head, I guess. Um, but he, he's actually going to go down to pretty much one life. He's going to hit me with the Shadow Ball, which is super effective. I'm going to be able to survive that. He is going to go out with Zeus. I am stuck in that Fire Punch. I might as well just... Uh just switch here because I do not really want to fight this. I figure he's going to go Mega and he's going to be able to take it. I'm going to go with Raikou because I know he can take anything that this thing is going to do. This is Choice Band and if he does Mega Evolve, I do have the Hidden Power Ice on this thing. So I know I'll be alright and worst case scenario, I can always go out to my Gliscor and Gliscor can do whatever Gliscor wants against this thing. So yeah, there it goes. There's the Thunderbolt. So that's going to be eaten up pretty well. I know this thing does have pretty good special attack, but uh, just not enough. So the choice specs, um, hidden power is not going to be enough to kill. Of course, he is super, super bulky. Um, he is really slow. I also have the Blastoise with the Dragon Pulse, so uh, yeah. But he's actually going to switch here. I am stuck in the Hidden Power Ice. He's going to go out with Scizor knowing that probably I'm going to go with the Hidden Power Ice, which I am. Because once again, I am stuck in it. Um, Hidden Power Dragon would have also been resisted, so it didn't really matter. I'm just going to retreat. I I don't really want to take this Bullet Punch. Um, that Cannon kind of wants to take this Bullet Punch. Though, this is when I know it's Choice Banned because he is going to hit me for a lot of damage. I was not expecting it to do that much. But I am going to Mega Evolve knowing that he is most likely Choice Banded. And I am going to have free reign all over this thing. Um, I'm going to be able to hit it, and since he is choice banned, I figure he's adamant, so maybe I could kill him in one hit. I'm not sure how much the Water Pulse is actually going to do, um, but it actually does quite a bit less than I thought, um, but that, that's okay because I can survive another Bullet Punch very easily and just go with the Aura Sphere, which is neutral with the Scizor, so it's going to be able to take him out, and it would have been the safe choice against anything. Also, it has 100% accuracy, so there was no chance of missing. He's actually going to go out with the Alakazam. I'm going to get Dak Cannon out of here because he is um, just going to die because this thing is way too fast. Raikou wants to take this death, and it's only at 5 life, so it doesn't really matter. I was just hoping that he did not go with the substitute here. If he would have went with the substitute, I would have been done. He is faster than the Raikou, so I would not have been able to do anything. But he didn't, so I'm going to be able to go out with Jirachi, go with the Thunder Punch, because I misclicked. I misclicked that uh, Iron Head there. Um, very disappointing, because now he's going to send out Zeus, which times four resists this, but there's... Nothing he could do seeing as how this is his last Pokemon. I still have two Pokemon. One that super resists him in the Gliscor. And one that is faster than him no matter what. And uh, yeah, down goes Jirachi. That's fine. Jirachi did exactly what Jirachi needed to do. Dak Cannon's going to come out. I figure I'll finish the match with Dak Cannon. Because if I finish with Gliscor, it's not as good. I'm going to go with the Dragon Pulse, of course. That is powered up. And it is going to take out Zeus. So Dak Cannon takes out a god. And there we go. So I am really liking this generation's team. I think it has really good coverage. I have avoidance. I have, you know, uh, special defense. I have priority move. I have... I have everything I need on this team. And I think this is the team I'm going to go into the tournament with. Though... That is not necessarily true because anything can change and anything can happen. I could change my team on a whim. Who knows what's going to happen. But thank you, Michael. I know you probably won't see this because you're just some random guy. But um, I want to thank you for a great battle. That was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah. So I can't wait to show you guys some of the Generation Tournament when that comes up this week. And stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to have some more wrestling. We're going to keep booking NXT. I already have one recorded. I haven't put it up yet. But uh, that will be up soon. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I will talk to you guys later.